FTX FTT token, the Black Swan event number three in 2022 for the cryptocurrency world. Guys, where did we see the last time a chart like that? Something crazy like this. The last time we saw something like that was Terra Luna. Terra Luna was even worse because it went to 0, 0, 0 something. So relatively speaking, FTX is not as bad, but on the macro crypto, it is even worse than Terra Luna. And Celsius was the number three major Black Swan event. And every single time something like that, we've had a major, major collapse. It affected the whole market. So that was Bitcoin that fell here, bam, in May. That was Terra Luna. Bam, this fall in June was Celsius. And then bam, this was FTX. Three major events that are creating absolutely incredible opportunity in crypto so guys today we're gonna discuss particularly ftx ftt token what is really happening with the token right now is it actually creating a major generational opportunity or is it actually a death trap what is going on and how can we play regardless of what's happening you know we need to stay focused and look for the best opportunities long term mid term and short term so today we'll look what is going on with FTX, FTT and how, what is the best way to play what's happening with FTX. So guys, welcome back to AR7 Crypto channel. If you haven't been here, that's a fantastic opportunity to subscribe because we're providing fantastic new videos about the best altcoins that we're going to catch for the next big bull run. So uh, let's... Uh, start with something really simple here that I highly doubt FTT token is gonna be a good token for the bull run, okay, for the next really big wave of 2024, 25, or uh, you know something like uh, like that. Uh, Terra Luna and Celsius also extremely unlikely gonna be successful in the next bull run. But you know, guys, the crypto people, the crypto degens are really so degen, so crazy, is that even in bear markets they are creating crazy opportunities so terra luna actually created a pretty crazy opportunity one of the craziest opportunities in a bear market which we're gonna see very soon in the video and celsius network also had another crazy opportunity after the whole collapse after the whole crazy bear market it is possible ftx ftt token will create another similar opportunity we don't know for sure nothing in the markets is for sure but because we have a precedent of Terra Luna and Celsius Network, it is possible FTT token will create another crazy opportunity. So how do we know that? So guys, let's first start with FTT that uh, at the very, let me be clear, at the very short term, personally, me, myself, non-financial advice, and I don't think it's a really good idea to buy it right now because we absolutely have no clue will it actually break the support levels that it has right now. Can it really go way below a dollar or, you know, we still don't know what exactly is going to happen. But uh, what we do know is that, you know, the very lows in the past for FTT was here approximately at $1.83. And we have already actually wicked to this level over here. Actually, it happened today uh, as I'm recording the video uh, in November 12th. Uh, so we actually already wicked to this level. So on one end, that could be a pretty nice short opportunity if we do go to like $1.75 or less. It could be a pretty nice short opportunity. But um, again, when it comes to long, we have no clue how much worse it could get this could be actually the bottom for ftt uh, at least uh, you know a temporary bottom for a few months uh, so it could be what it is right now more or less two dollars and maybe it could be way worse 10 cents two cents uh, 20 cents we have no clue so right now personally when it comes to the very near future it is just a game of uh, waiting okay non-financial advice that's how i see ftt token but now guys let's check what happened with terra luna well, now it's Terra Luna Classic and uh, Celsius Network. And if FTT, FT, FTX, FTT token give us a similar clue, it could be another major opportunity in this super crazy bear market with our favorite crypto degens that we have here in the crypto world. So let's check Terra Luna Classic first, guys. So um, this is Terra Luna Classic, okay? And, uh, you know, obviously I don't want to see the whole history of before that because, you know, it's super sad story, of course, and also uh, it's not really relevant to the video. So have a look, guys. So what happened with Terra Luna? So during the collapse, 
we still had a really really high volume and even higher than FTT token because Terra Luna was even a, a larger market cap than uh, FTT um, but anyway as you can see you see so the volume was still pretty high here at 5.8 billion dollars okay just for comparison at FTT right now we're at 600 million and it is actually slightly less than so you see on November uh, 8 it was almost 5 billion so we already have a diminishing volume uh, with FTT token, which is an interesting sign. It's a good beginning, but uh, let's keep looking what happened with our Luna Classic. So as we've mentioned, we've had a diminishing uh, volume, step by step, diminishing more and more. You see over here, it was 2 billion, uh, here just under a billion. And you see, we just had lower, lower volume, still here and there, still some high volume, but uh, you see. Overall, we went from uh, <clears throat> a volume in the billions to volume in the um, uh, to six-figure volume. Okay, from eight-figure volume to six-figure volume, more or less, for Terra Luna Classic. And then have a look over here. Then we've had a major spike back to a billion dollars. Okay, and again, that's a very major spike when it comes to volume because here it was 33 million. And then it was 1 billion after this whole crazy saga. And by the way, an another really important kind of thing that I have to mention, the extra collapse by Celsius happened uh, here. So Bitcoin bottomed at 17k here at June 18th. So quite shortly afterwards, approximately one week afterwards, we've had this major uh, spike in volume and in the price as well. So check this out, guys. So in the price, we've spiked 2x, but or even, excuse me, even, uh, yeah, 2 to 3x, something like that. But more importantly, in the volume, we've had a spike back to eight figures again uh, from six figures, and it was like a 30x spike in volume. So guys, so once we've had that, the, the way I really saw what happened last time with Terra Luna Classic, and I believe it could be similar for FTT, so listen closely because it's an important point here. Um, what happened last time is the way I see it, whales actually started buying here large amounts of Terra Luna Classic and they bought it here. Okay, And then over here, they actually created even a larger pump. The interesting thing is that Terra Luna Classic still after the whole crazy bear market still actually not even back down to these levels yet, which is pretty crazy. But anyway, the important thing, guys, is that this is our clue. OK, so if we have a volume, uh, so spike in volume after we've had diminishing volume over time on FTT. OK, we, we can zoom in a little bit uh, more here to see it just a little bit better. You know, so here you see we've had a pretty major volume 4 billion 3 billion 4 billion then a little bit of diminishing to 1.6 to 1 and here we're even under a billion quite recently okay so as we continue to see this diminishing volume diminishing volume people are starting to forget about ftt and again non-financial advice uh, the price can still get lower to like 20 cents or uh, 10 cents or something crazy like that okay so we have no idea at what price points something like that will happen will it still stay at two dollars or will it be even at a, a much lower than that it doesn't really matter what the price is gonna be what just matters is is that we already have on FTT the diminishing volume, but it is still pretty hot topic right now, FTX, FTT, and uh, the volume is still pretty high, okay? So it's definitely very early right now, but we have to prepare. That's the important thing here. So uh, the, uh, when I record the video, is November 12th, 2022. So anyway, guys, so as you can see in Terra Luna Classic last time, you see, first of all, you do have the spike, and then you have a consolidation. And that's the important consolidation. That's what happened last time with Terra Luna Classic. And look how many actually also days you've had to prepare and to have a little bit of a position here. So you've had this major spike. So somebody bought a lot of Terra Luna Classic over here, or a few people, you know, some people bought here. And then they've waited and then they spiked it once again. So if you just had the opportunity to buy approximately here, or, uh, you know, let's call it like that. So three zeros and one over here. And then to this top over here, you actually made a 5X on Terra Luna Classic. And that's absolutely insane because we're in a bear market. And this is like a dead coin, okay? Like this is one of the coins that completely collapsed from $119 to 0000, okay? But still, 
it's still it had done more than a 5x but like what i'm trying to show you guys here is the strategy how you can realistically make approximately a 5x or even a 4 3x because you know selling the absolute bottom uh, uh excuse me top is not easy um but again the point is is that once you do have a new um coming big volume it could be a sign that some whales are planning to do something like that and unfortunately we have a lot a lot of crazy manipulation still in the crypto um, uh, markets um and you know sometimes you can just catch a wave of these ardor whales manipulating the prices like with terra luna classic and you know and you can just catch this wave so once you see the whales you know what i mean you can see it as a wave over here you can see like a whale just did a wave and then you kind of, oh, okay, there was a very nice wave here. Okay, I can buy a little bit. And, then, and again, non-financial advice, in my opinion, buying coins like Thermal Luna Classic, Celsius, and uh, FTX, FTT, I don't think it has to be, you know, uh, it shouldn't be a very large amount of anyone's portfolio, in my personal non-financial opinion. But still, you know, it's, a, it, it's nice, you know, it's still nice to have some gains in the bear market as well. So anyway, you've had a wave, and then, you know, okay, I can buy here, and then you do have this crazy spike and of course super important is still to have a stop loss you know so in Terra Luna's uh, classics case if I would have bought here at uh, three zeros and one my uh, stop loss would probably be below zero eight like four zeros and eight okay stop losses are uh, also extremely important in crypto so that's what I personally would have done with Terra Luna classic so uh, now let's have a look on another major and again the really major thing is that as we've mentioned terra luna was a major collapse that collapsed the whole crypto in may 2022 celsius network was the june 2022 major collapse and ftx was now at the november collapse so the crazy thing guys is also check celsius network <laughs> this is gonna show you how crazy uh, crypto people are that they are literally creating this major major pumps in uh collapsing in dead coins okay but anyway um so as we mentioned the main collapse happened approximately here for celsius network and uh, as you can see over here we've also had a diminishing uh volume with time so you see over here the numbers were not as big here we've had seven figures but have a look over here we started having six figures in uh in the volume okay then it kind of spiked again and uh and here and now look now we were back to eight figures even though the prices went down um but this is even the more important one this is the spike that i'm mostly looking at we've had a spike so once again uh, just to uh, um, a bit more specifically what we're talking about so for example here on may 28 we only had a six figure volume okay six figure volume and then for celsius network we've had a spike to nine figures volume from six seven figures so another absolutely crazy spike in vol 100x in <laughs> in volume okay after this coin was completely collapsed and they also stopped all withdrawals and you know this project is dead celsius network but it, it still did like uh you know from this bottom here to here guys it was a 10x it was absolutely insane it was a 10x now catching the bottom is not really easy but um I mean, the point of the video, guys, is that once we see a major spike in volume, like over here, nine figures, that's the signal that we can buy some amount, you know? And if you do buy a day or two, three days later, once uh, the volume kind of relaxes a little bit, <clears throat> you know, if you still would have bought it at 56 cents, and, you know, all the way to the top, it was still approximately even more than a 5x, you know? So more realistically, if you sell it over uh you know over here um you know i mean it's still 5x maybe slightly less 4 5x still very similar to terra luna classics numbers terra luna classic was even better in the sense that you've had much more time to uh buy uh but anyway here again you've had the whales manipulating whales buying the large bags and then selling them distributing them step by step over here and that's why the price collapsed back um so this has happened twice guys this has happened as we've mentioned in the major collapse of terra luna uh and now it's terra luna classic and celsius network okay and both of them had a major spike in volume and then uh, after the volume relaxed subsided a little bit after the craziness um and this major spike in volume was whales creating waves and accumulating 
and uh, that was our signal that we could have buy it as well, we could have bought it as well. Um, so again, FTX, FTT, uh, very very likely something similar may happen. So obviously, it's not really gonna be a generational opportunity, um, you know, because uh, trust is extremely important in crypto. Non-financial advice, but in my opinion, neither of those FTX, Celsius, and Terra Luna are not gonna really come back from the dead. I mean, if they do, it's gonna be completely unprecedented. Everything's possible, but it's extremely unlikely. Um, but because crypto people, crypto degens are degens and crazy, uh, we still can still have a, once again a 10x or 5x or something crazy like that with FTX, just like we've had with Celsius and Terra Luna. And I mean, the story now with FTX feels uh, you know, bigger than Celsius, I don't know if as big as Terra Luna, Terra Luna story was also pretty big, but I mean, it's a very big story, you know, so for sure it's gonna interest a lot of people, and again, if the whales manipulated over here and here, why would they not manipulate once again with FTX, you know, FTT, so as we mentioned guys, non-financial advice, uh, and uh, FTX right now is a death trap, in the sense that it can fall to any really number, it, it can fall to you know anything, one cent, ten cents, anything, um, and it can stay at two dollars. Right now, at this point in time, it's a death trap. Uh, for the long term, extremely unlikely it's a generational opportunity, but it could be a really nice trade opportunity if it falls below dollar eighty four. Uh, dollar, well, maybe more conservatively, even dollar seventy-five, dollar seventy. This could be a short opportunity, and then even bigger than the short, um, the bigger opportunity could be like Terra Luna Classic and Celsius Network. So, guys, watch out for the volume of FTX, which is already diminishing and already going down. So, if it will keep going down and down and down and down, and if also the interest in FTX will s relatively subside, it's gonna be a crazy story, so it will not subside completely, but relatively. It's not gonna be as big as it is right now, uh, and uh, <clears throat> as we've mentioned, the volume will go even further down, and then out of nowhere, we'll again have some major, major spike in volume once again, and also a spike in the price, that could be a really major opportunity for the bear market and non-financial advice that could be another 5x and maybe 10x from the bottom because that's exactly what celsius network had done and terra luna classic had done so guys if you gain value today don't forget to subscribe because i'm making here videos every single sunday on major altcoins like that i'm looking for opportunities in the bear market but you know much more importantly i really care about the 100x and the 1000x in the next bull run and I already have a good watch list of many altcoins and I'm revealing them step by step more and more altcoins that I really like. Uh, and we go deeply, which are the best. So we're going to accumulate fantastic altcoins for uh, the next bull run. And I'm going to be here even more available and more frequent in my videos once we're kind of closer to a real bull run. But in the bear market, you know, I don't want to get people wrecked. I want to non-financial advice. I want to help people as much as possible and help you guys find opportunities, even with FTX, with dying coins. Um, so, yeah, guys, if you haven't subscribed, that's a fantastic opportunity. Leave a like and leave a comment if you have any questions. So thank you very much again for joining and tuning in. And I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and a fantastic week ahead. And cheers.